Good afternoon. My name is Elliot Epps, and I'm the executive director of City Air Columbia. Uh, City Air, for those of you who don't know, it's a, it's a nonprofit organization. It's in 22 cities around the country. But we give young people the opportunity to change the world by giving a year of full-time service. These young people are all 18 through, through 24, and they're given a year in which we, we work them to death. We, uh, we put them on teams, and we, we place them on critical community issues. And specifically, as an organization, about five years, City Year has become a, what we call an education core. We're focusing specifically on the education issue. And this was, we were so thankful um, to be able to have the opportunity to partner with Sisters of Charity around this idea of how do we, how do we eliminate poverty. And uh, Arnie Duncan, Duncan said that the way that we're going to eliminate poverty is through education. And um, a huge thank you to the foundation, to, the, to everyone. I know it's a really tough uh, decision because there's so much need out there. We are focusing specifically um, on a, a program that we're very, very proud that the uh, uh, Charity Foundation decided to help us keep it going. It's called Diplomas Now. And this will be the second year, and we're doing it at uh, piloting at C.A. Johnson High School. And uh, our focus with our education core is to focus on our dropout crisis as a country. Right now, 11% of our high schools in our country produce over 55% of our country's dropouts. 11% produce 55% of our dropouts. And those 11% of our schools, high schools across the country, produce over 70% of our minority dropouts. They've been getting the turn dropout factories. And if you apply that here locally in, uh, in Columbia, in Richland School District 1, um, we have four of our six schools which are considered dropout factories. And the um, Providence Hospital actually sits in the middle of two directions for the city of Columbia. Um, to, to its left, up Millwood, you have Dreer High School which is uh, on the uh, Newsweek's um, list of best high schools. And then you go to the right, down two notches to the left, the C.A. Johnson High School. C.A. Johnson has a proud history of producing amazing leaders for this country and this community, but the school, like the neighborhood around it, is struggling. Last year, it, uh, it started with a freshman, four years ago, a class of 140 freshmen. Last year, they graduated 77 students. And out of those 77, seven went to college. That's seven out of 140. How is a C.A. Johnson high school student going to compete with a Dreer high school student? And so it's, it's our decision at Columbia is where are we going to go? And so I'm very, very excited, and my three minutes are up, that we're going to, with diplomas now, we've done it for one year, and I'm very proud to say that the school was taken off the state's priority list after the one year because of the work and the progress we made with the freshman class. But the true test of this will be four years to see where, how, many, how, many, how many colleges are these uh, young people going to and how are we fulfilling our promise. But thank you all so much, and I look forward to sharing some good news with you.